Hey guys, today I will show you how to install EasyPanel on Contempo Cloud VPS. EasyPanel is a free cPanel alternative, though it is not open source. It has a free version and you can also choose a paid version from uh, $15 per month, but we will use the free version for this. You can install multiple applications even with free but for more advanced features and technical support you need to have a premium license for this so i have i have covered this on my website and i will put a link on on the description down below so you can follow if you don't have um if you don't want to, to watch youtube and only the, only the requirements are contemporary cloud PPS and a root access. So if you have one, at least one domain, you can access easy panel with a host name with uh, using that domain. So let's get started. First, we will sign up with the contemporary cloud PPS. So for starters, you can choose VPSS or the VPSM. So I'll just be using the VPSM. I'll be choosing 12 months because there is no setup fee. But if you choose one month, you'll pay for one time setup fee. So, so if you want to save, uh, you can choose 12 months. And so right now, um, so I was celebrating their 20th anniversary, so I'll just be using the United States. And of course, uh, I will be choosing uh, 100 gigabyte of SSD. So NVMe is much faster than the regular SSD. So if you want to, if you want to, to be uh, to have a larger SSD storage, you can choose 400 gigabyte, but I'll be choosing faster one, and I'll be choosing 22.4 uh, Ubuntu. It's free, and generate a password for root because we'll be using this to connect to our server. And I'll just leave this as is. I don't need to have a uh, private networking. If you want to use more than one, you can choose this one. It's actually 4.5 per IP address. So we'll go, go to next. You need to fill up this information. And once you're done, you can proceed, proceed to payment method and your uh, confirmation then contable will send you a, a login details to log into their uh, dashboard take note that uh, it will take three hours or less to set for them to set up your vps so you just need to wait so this, that's how easy to uh, sign up with contable and now let's log in so I already have my um login details. I just, I just uh, click login, and I'll do VPS control. So now my server is running here, and my default user user is root. So let's connect our server via SSH. We need to. I uh, use Bitvice, a free SSH client, to connect to our server and install Easy Panel. Okay, so next we will open our SSH client and put your server IP address here, uh, part uh, 22, and click in. So just click accept and save. So I'll just paste the password. I have generated earlier when setting up and go to new terminal console 
Okay, first, uh, let's install Docker. Uh, let's go to our website and let's install Docker. So just go to our command line interface and just exit here. Next, we will install easy panel. Use this uh, uh, use this command. Just copy this one and just right click and just click enter. Great, we have successful installed EC panel. So to access EC panel, just highlight this one. It will automatically paste. Uh, sorry, it will automatically copy and just paste it here. So we'll enter our email here and password. Okay, just click and set up. Now we are here on our EC panel dashboard. And you can create your, now your uh, favorite web applications. So with EC panel, you can manage your web applications and install new applications. You can have multiple um, projects and services. And this panel feels like more of a cloud panel, but this one is just free, not open source. So let's go to settings. If you want to add license, just activate this one. Uh, multiple users needs um, a paid license, also backups and cluster. So if you want to install WordPress without cPanel, you can use eCPanel. It's free, but if you want more advanced options uh, like multiple users, backups, and clustering, you need, you need to purchase their um, um, licenses. And you can install many web applications such as WordPress and other CMS. Oh, uh, mostly, uh, there are one-click um, CMS installation, and I will cover that on my next video. I will show you how to install WordPress in EasyPanel um, easily. So that's it. I hope you learned something. So I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.